Ladies and gentlemen, let's get right to it. It's time for the entertainment news. And up on the entertainment news, Nick Cannon regrets not having a baby with Christina Milan. Hmm. After 12 children, Nick Cannon has come out to reveal that he regrets not having children hmm. with his ex-girlfriend, singer and actress Christina Milan, during their brief romance. He made this known during an interview with The Shade Room where he recalled how he used to date his love, Don't Cost a Thing co-star, after they sparked a romance on set in 2003. Nick Cannon said, and I quote, If I say this, I know it's going to go viral. But when Christina Milan and I were doing Love Don't Cost a Thing, I remember when I found out she was pregnant years later. I was like, dang, man. But I was so happy for her. I remember we were kids in love early on, and so we talked about that. But to each his own, life plans it out. The universe gives it how it's supposed to be given. We definitely had our romantic thing and conversations on what it would be like back then. Just so you know, Nick Cannon and Christina Milan dated for more than two years before the actress broke things off when she found out he had been unfaithful by hacking into his phone, which Nick had, has admitted to and has spoken about since. Christina Milan now has a 12-year-old daughter with ex-husband The Dream, a 3-year-old son and 23-month-old son with Matt Kokora, whom she married in 2020, while Nick Cannon is a proud father of several children with different women. During the same interview, Nick Cannon was asked if he sees a future with just one of the mothers of his children. He replied saying, and I quote, But then, that's a disservice to the other ones. I'm over here and if you want to see me, I'll be at my house, end quote. He also spoke about his ex-wife, Maria Carey, who he says is the coolest person he has ever met, calling her a gift from God. This is very, very interesting. And why would yeah. I say this is interesting? I think Nick Cannon never just uh, ceases to surprise me. You know, he, 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 he does not cease to surprise me. Yeah. And I'll say it because I think that there is this joy it derives from when I meet you and I like you, you must have a child for me. Mm. I don't know, like, <laughs> how do you say it to somebody or about somebody who has moved on? with our life that oh when you were dating yeah you wish that and that is your already father abraham like you have a <laughs> lot of children already and you still i mean yeah. it's just mm, what do you, yeah. but to be honest i think that you know everybody in their lifetime has that one person that they re they look back to and they be like, oh, I think I the wish. canon is just one nice guy like that. Mm. One nice guy that, you know, there are people that you, you meet them and they're nice to you, like the opposite sex meets them. Yeah. And then the opposite sex actually thinks that maybe they have something for you. Yeah. Yeah. You will now discover that they actually treat everybody the same. Mm -hmm. So you say, oh, how are you, darling? Yeah. This is, so you think yeah. that there is a special yeah. likeness for you. Yeah. And then you go, you see the person with another person and mm -hmm. the person is acting the same way. And anyway. you're disappointed because you're like, you're, you thought you were special to them. There are people like that because if you can talk about Mariah Carey, very well he can talk about it. and then they ask oh would you like to he likes to be diplomatic and i think yeah, that does. you know uh, for somebody who does not even stand for anybody like that i just pity anybody who wants to go and do any attachment well, and feels like you are the number one yeah. you are no number one well so okay, yeah, okay so mean, so what i feel sorry yeah, sorry to ahead, cut you ahead, so ahead. what i think about the canon is over the years he has realized how much he loves children mm -hmm. and how much he loves to cater to children mm -hmm. So I feel like that's where the whole procreation thing came about. Yeah. Because if you decide to do a family tree of Nikanon, mm. the branches are long. If he likes to cater to the children, then he should, are long. he should just go and open an orphanage. Because what? <laughs> like, well, how do, because how are you going to be present right now for each? Because it's more than money. If I you keep remember, saying this thing. It's more than money. If you remember what he said during Christmas, that it was like Santa... It was fun to him. He said it was kind of stressful, but it was also fun traveling yeah. from one place to another to give them gifts. So at the end of the day, we know that to each his own. Mm -hmm. And him now wishing this happened is just crazy. Well, like I said, everybody always has that one spark that when you look back on, like, ah, I wish this thing worked. You know, I saw a video recently. Um, so an um, paparazzi yeah. was running after um, Nick Cannon and she was asking him, so you have yes, a, I saw it, I saw yeah, it, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it, Are you going to have more? I saw it. And then he said, uh, well, I don't know. Um, what are you doing after? Yes, I <laughs> saw it, like, I saw it, I saw it. The girl was shocked. Her face. I saw it. And he had this wicked laugh and he closed, yes, and he closed the door. <laughs> and the they girl said, replied. I said, I don't know, maybe. We'll ah. Be about close she door, just laughed. But I mean, I mean, they would have actually been a power couple together if you look at it, Christina Milan and um, uh, Nick Cannon. 
and then that movie was 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 everything. So you didn't what? think that it would have been a, a power couple to Mariah Carey and Nick Cannon? I don't know. I feel like um, Christina Milan and um, Nick. Nick Cannon were would have been a perfect match. They were so cute. I, I, th I think Nick Cannon is just a very wonderful human. I'm not saying that <laughs> Mariah Carey is not all that he mm -hmm. spoke about. But Maya Carey, to so many people, is a diva, and yep. she has that side that, you know, some, one time people who were working for her were just resigning, okay, yeah. they were just leaving her because yeah. she was just forming one. Mm -hmm. So to me, from outside, I've not met her, but she's looking like that person who's not really accommodating. Yeah, but yeah. for mm -hmm. somebody like Nick Cannon, who yeah. is just like, okay, because I have children with this person, yeah. you know that thing of, mm -hmm. oh, you just speak about them in the good light. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, we wish them the best. We wish um, you throw so good. <laughs> Um, I won't be surprised. Team. Like we don't, we don't get surprised any longer. At least we have Anything first, we, we have, we have first team now. Eleven yeah. players plus one substitution, so we need more. More, more people on the bench, yeah. Abby. Case person break. Oh wow! <laughs> but I don't think anybody should take a cue from that. If it's your own model, you better check it very well, especially if you really do not have a lot of money. True. But it's beyond money, like True. it's more than money.